Hi everybody, this is Miss Kim at the Clark County Public Library. Welcome to Yoga Story Time. You guys know what we're going to do here. We're going to share a story and then practice some poses that we may be found in that story, okay? Remember, I'm not a certified yoga instructor. I just really love to do this and I'm, I'm hoping you guys are enjoying it too. Got a really good book for you guys today. It is called The Don't Worry Book, written and illustrated by Todd Parr. Now we do have permission from Little Brown Publishing to share this story with you guys today. Okay, it's all about not worrying. I think we all worry, don't we? Well, let's go ahead and do some stretches, all right? Might as well do some side stretches, all right? Hands in front, clasp your fingers, flip them inside out, up to the sky and tip on over. Nice deep breath, back up. On to the other side. Back up. One more time over here. And down. Very good. And we might as well do a little rocking the baby. Okay. Right hand, right knee. Get that knee up on that elbow. Put your foot inside your left elbow on a gentle rock. Both sides of your bottom on the ground. All right. Don't want to hurt yourself. Right hand, right foot. Stretch your leg out. Oh, that really feels nice. Okay. Left hand, left knee. Get that baby in there. I rock. If this if this kind of hurts, then you know you can put your foot out straight. Whatever feels good. Left hand, left foot, and stretch. And that is wonderful. Let's we'll see what this story is all about. The Don't Worry Book. Sometimes you worry. Ooh. Worrying happens when you think too much about a problem or feel afraid that something bad is going to happen. You might worry when you meet someone for the first time. When someone is being mean. When it's dark. When you're trying to sleep. When you go to the bathroom. when you go somewhere new, or when you're alone, huh. or when you have too much to do, you might worry when it rains, when you get sick or have to go to the doctor, when watching TV, or from looking at too many, or too, too, at screens too much. You might worry when someone is being loud. Like a dog barking there. When you go to school or when you overhear some bad news. Worrying can make you sad. When you worry, try doing something to keep yourself busy, like talking to someone special. Taking deep breaths. Visiting friends. Wearing underwear on your head. Reading a book. Dancing. Exercising. Squeezing a toy. Or thinking about all the things that make you strong. And remembering everyone who loves and takes care of you. And we have a little note from Todd Parr here. Worrying doesn't help you. If you are worried, talk to someone you love about it. It will make you feel better. The end. Love, Todd. Oh, that's a nice little note. I like that. So what we're going to do today, we are just going to be practice some poses that will instill braveness in you, okay? Because if you feel brave, you're going to look brave. You're just going to be brave. So what we're going to do, um, I think at first we're going to start with a child pose. It's good. This is a good stretch for your back. It's really good 
it's going to calm our breathing down a little bit before we even get started, okay? Just going to be just a tad bit different than what we normally do. Go ahead and sit on your heels. Bend forward and head to the ground, okay? Stretch your arms out. And now what we're going to do, put your palms, palms of your hands together and bring them in back of your head. And just takes like two or three really deep breaths. Okay, are you feeling a little calmer already? I like that. Let's go ahead. We're going to do a tiger pose, okay? Because tigers are really brave. So go ahead and get in your tabletop position. Hands below your shoulders, knees below your hips. All right. Just like this. And now you're just going to extend your right leg. And that's your tiger's tail. You're nice and strong and steady. All right. If you would like, go ahead and bend that tiger's tail a little bit. See, that feels good to you. And then back out. And just remember, the whole time we're doing this, nice, deep breaths. All right. Left leg out. Strong and steady. Go ahead and flip that tail a little bit. And back out. Very good. So while we're like kind of like this, let's go ahead and do our downward dog. Dogs are brave. Alright. See so how you do that. Your feet are apart, your hands are apart, your hips are in the air, and you're gonna look as far as you can between your feet. And you should start feeling pretty brave about now. Now we'll do the upper dog. All right, so we're gonna slowly go down. And then your stomach, chest on the floor, and now you're gonna just push your chest up off the floor. All right. That's our upward dog. And now we're gonna try and be a dragon because I think dragons are pretty brave. Go ahead and get in plank, just like this, all right? Bring your left foot up on the outside of your left hand. Okay, lay your leg on the floor, because that's your tail back there. Go ahead and do, if you can, flip your tail up a little bit. And you're going to feel that on the top of your legs. Nice breath. Put your tail back down. Okay, back to plank. Right foot up. Your left leg's on the ground. Your shoulders are nice and straight, okay? Go ahead and get your tail up a little bit. All right, very good. Tail back down, all right. Now from here, we're just gonna go and do a gentle, gentle, gentle forward fold and up into our mountain pose. Because nothing is stronger than a mountain. Nothing can knock that mountain down. Okay? So by now, we should be feeling like a warrior, I think. Let's go ahead and do our warrior pose. Right leg, toes point forward. Back leg, toes point sideways. Okay? Go ahead and bend that um, right leg as far as you can, however you're comfortable. Extend your arms. really good. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and turn that around. Left foot forward, right foot back, bend that knee. Extend your arms. All right, very good, very good. Let's go ahead and get back down on the floor. We are going to go back into our child pose, okay? We're going to stretch it back again. We're going to take some calming breaths. We are winding down. Head to the ground. Arms stretched out. Palms together. And bring them back up over your head. Go ahead and do our rest pose, okay, on your back. 
everything's on the floor. Alright. If you have your yoga buddy, grab your yoga buddy. Left hand on your heart. Breathe deep from the bottom of your feet all the way out. Close your eyes. Is your yoga buddy going up and down? Okay. If you are ready, open up your eyes. Roll to your side and on up. Okay, guys, what do you think, huh? Think these poses will make you feel brave. Maybe help you not worry so much. Everybody worries, okay? Just, just one way that you might be able to handle it, okay? Give it a try. Let us know what you think. Until next time, be well. Namaste.